All right, hey guys. Um, this is uh, Henry Lee, and today uh, I'm using my cousin's computer here, and his computer is plagued with different softwares, and a lot of people uh, try to go searching up for how to make your computer quicker. And on the internet, I found like a variety of ways, and those got a lot of views, but I've seen all of them. And in this video, I kind of like to bring out like what um what essentially everyone has said into one story. So the first thing I like to do is have something. Uh, this software here is very useful, although it is Chinese. But um, just search up any. Don't download Optimizer Pro. That's a scamming software. But things like I actually don't know any English editions. Uh, but uh, actually for this one it doesn't really matter. Uh, you could instead of going into deleting software, you could go to your um. You could go to your control panel, but anyways, um, for this video, for for uh, your simplicity, we're going into control panel. Uh, so essentially, what do you want to do? The first tip you want to do is you kind of want to delete any unwanted software. My cousin's computer here has been plagued with um, advertisements, um, common things that where you get these softwares is from um is from the uh is from downloading random stuff that you don't know not from a trusted source and then you get stuff like what jam which is a really common thing that kind of screws around with your with your uh with your computer so let me let me find um let me find the software system here uh let me find his his softwares. Okay, before we do that, there's one thing that you should probably do, and that's defrag. Um, when you defrag, you uh you essentially um kind of repair the software softwares and files on your computer. So you go into your um uh what is this add Add administrative tools, and then you click optimize for local desk C. So it's running and it's analyzing. It. Um, go to programs here, programs and features. So that's your unwanted softwares. So here you have a bunch of softwares. I mean, if you guys aren't usually on your uh, software page, you probably get a lot of crap that you don't know. So I've already cleaned up most of his things, but you can always check. So Optimizer Pro, I really don't like the software. Um, this is all personal opinion, but it's quite annoying. And then um, it all like random softwares like this often slow down your computer. Uh, when I got to his house, actually, um, he had tons of softwares, like 20 plus softwares, that were from an untrusted source. They were terrible, slowing his computer down. Uh, I've deleted many of them, and now like he can see a significant um, increase in the speed. So we're gonna delete that. Uh, let's see. So they only run one at a time, so you, you probably should just wait. And it's defragging this one. So let's back out of there. Uh, the second thing you want to do is you want to go to your system. Uh, your system here. He's running on Windows 8 8.1. And then you want to go to Advanced System Settings here. It's gonna be a little bit slow because we're running a lot of programs here. Okay. Get that out of the way. That was the software I was talking about, but um so once you open system properties or advanced systems, um you go to performance. So performance options, I've actually eliminated a lot of things, but you can if you're really desperate to make your computer way quicker, adjust your best performance. It kind of rec uh, it kind of um deletes all these animations here and um all these go out for here um i didn't want to uh get rid of all of his but um we're just gonna do this for now apply now if you apply all these settings your computer's aesthetics or animation wise fancy stuff is all gonna be gone but your speed's gonna sometimes twofold threefold and stuff like that so that's really useful but you can see significantly the words get kind of mangled up but uh, he doesn't really want that, so I'm gonna fix that later. So we have system properties. We can get rid of all that. Um, a third thing 
is you want to go to your browser if you're a person that surfs the web. Um, this doesn't really apply to you if you're just a gamer or you use your computer for other reasons. But if you do, if you do surf the web, which a lot of people do, um, and you want to get rid of those ads, which are usually provided from softwares. First thing you want to do is delete all the softwares that you don't know. They usually give you random stuff. But the second thing is you want to go to your settings. Let's wait for that. Um, and then essentially what you want to do with your settings is you want to get rid of all those unwanted toolbars and random Chrome stuff. So let's see what he has on his computer here. Uh, you don't want to do settings. You want to go to your extensions. So I don't know what FFHK blah 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 is, and it's enabled. So let's delete that. Um, click for sale, and it's misspelled. Click for Sally. That's really screwed up. Let's remove that. Fine deal soft. Let's get rid of that. Flash coupons. Okay. My search style. So just random crap like this, really screws up your computer. Google Docs is trusted. And I know the software, so I'm just gonna keep it here. Um, the computer's laggy here, uh, so it's relocating stuff like that. Um, after all this, um, your computer should be significantly quicker. But if you really want to, you know, uh, care about all the uh, all the small details of performance, you can go into your files, which will be here, File Explorer. If you open your file explorer, you'll have tons of crap, photos, documents. I'm not going to delete anything here, but you will really want to get rid of that through the recycling bin. That's simple. It doesn't require uninstalling. Things that really uh, increase your file is stuff like videos, tons of photos from maybe your reunion party or stuff like that. Um, anyways, just stuff like that. And then also another thing, this is very essential, many people don't mention this, is high performance plan. This thing, let me just let me just show you guys. Uh this thing, if you if you see your plan settings, and go to change advanced power settings, you can see that um when it's in the uh high performance, uh if you go to your stuff like hard disk, if you open that, um and things like graphic settings. So they're all on maximum performance, but if you go to Power Slaver and you go down to here, you can see that it's processing power manage. So on battery, minimum processor state is all 0%. Maximum processor state, yes, it's 100%. But there's small settings in here that you really want to get on to high performance, and that just boosts your computer speed through the roof. Um, another thing is that I can't help you guys with is your Wi-Fi. Obviously, if your Wi-Fi is slow, your computer can't handle anything because it's not running the process. But that shouldn't affect you if you're doing offline things. I know there's offline games that a lot of people enjoy to play. So uh, that kind of concludes my thing. Um, this isn't loading, but you can you kind of get my point. Um, uh, yeah. So also, if you're running on Windows 8. Um, and you don't want stuff like stumble upon, you can uninstall this. News Expresso, you can uninstall this. Uh, that kind of boosts your computer up, uh, speed way up. And if it still is slow, maybe it's getting a little bit old and you really should get a new computer. So, uh, that kind of concludes it, guys. Thanks for watching. That's kind of the merge of every single information. Yeah.